Hello and welcome to another Microsoft 365 video. On today's episode, I will tell you everything you need to know about how to quote a message in Microsoft Teams in 2022 using the desktop clients. Quoting a message in Microsoft Teams has been one of the most requested features. This feature has been available for quite a long time for iOS and Android devices, but it just landed into the desktop clients for Windows, Linux, and macOS. While in Microsoft Teams, in a one-to-one -one chat or a group chat, you will be able to reply directly to a message posted by someone else or a message posted by yourself. To get access to this option, the only thing you have to do is over the message and then click in the three dots above the message. The first option you will find now is the reply, and this will immediately code the message in your next post. This will include the author of the original message, the original post date, and the original message. Once posted, all the users in the chat will be able to see what was the original post that you are replying to. Despite being available for chats, when keeping a conversation inside of a team channel, things are a bit different. The reply option is not available for you in the context of a thread. However, there are a few workarounds that you can use to quote a message from the thread. Let's see how it can be done. In this theme, as you can see, there are no reply option to any of the message inside of a thread. However, you can easily copy the original message and then paste it as a quote. So I will copy this one over here. I will copy it and then in the reply text area, I will press shift and the greater than sign, and this will create immediately the quote text box. If this doesn't show immediately, after executing the shift greater than shortcut, make sure you type a space so the text box appear. Once you have it on the screen, you just have to paste it, and now you can adjust the original message. If it copies the original link for the reply, you can easily delete it. And then to compose your message below the quote text box, you will have to press return twice. This will get you out of the quote and now you are able to type your own message. The layout is a bit different than the one used in the chat window, but at least you are able to keep the thread organized and you are able to reply to a specific message. If you are looking forward to understand in detail how Microsoft Teams work, I recommend you to read my book, Ends on Microsoft Teams, where you will find detailed explanations from the most basic concepts all the way up to the most advanced customizations. And you will find a lot of tips and tricks like the one explained in this video. Don't forget to share, like, and follow. See you next time. Bye-bye.